All right. Now we're going to slow down and do a little bit of the basics for this tutorial. As you can see, I have three routers uh, up and running. Basically, you just put your uh, image and associate with a router, drag, drop it over. You're going to want to start them up one by one, and then idle PC them and watch your processor CPU usage. And uh, idle PCing them will usually uh, knock it down to where it's a manageable level. Um, sometimes when you start these up, they'll work fine. You don't have to idle PC them. Sometimes it'll shoot through the roof. If you really run into trouble, um, look up best CPU limiter, which will limit these uh, processes if they get out of hand for you. Sometimes I don't be seeing them won't um, get them down all the way. All right. Um, next up, essentially, I just uh, connected them using fast Ethernet, and uh, now I have all I consoled into all of them, um, and they should be all set right here. Let's start with R zero. Basically, it'll ask you if you want to enter initial configuration dialog, which I have always said no to. Um, then you'll come up to this initial uh, prompt, which you really can't do much from. Um, so you're going to type enable or en, and that'll bring up the enable box. From here, you can run a lot more um, commands. Um, you can show run, which is technically show running configuration and that'll build the configuration and show you on the spot. Now, let's take a look at a few of these things. Um, that's just the size, so is the iOS version. I think that's pretty new actually, I'm surprised. Um, uh, the host name is just the name of the router. Um, AAA model is author uh, authentication, authorization, and one other A. Uh, basically it's uh, for remote access a lot of times, or at least for authenticating remote access. Um, um, no IP IPS is just for uh, security. Then you get down to your interfaces. Uh, this has let's see, two uh, fast Ethernet interfaces. As you can see, no IP address means there's no IP address assigned. It's shut down, which means it's not running up and running. Even though we have it connected in GNS3, you have to enable the ports for that to actually do anything. And FA00, or 01 and 00. Um, the duplex is just the speed, um, full duplex, half duplex, all that. Um, HTTP server, a lot of times it's used to connecting via web browser for running commands. Um, it's also used for Cisco SDM connections. And then line console, line auxiliary, and line virtual. Those we'll cover in another uh, tutorial. And as you can see, my processor is maxing out. So, a lot of times what we have to do is one by one, idle PC them again. Alright, I ended up having to use BEST to limit the uh, CPU usage. Um, as you can see here, it limits uh, targets, and what you're looking for is Dynamips, because um, that's uh, what the, uh, the Cisco routers use. Uh, it's a process that it's using. Um, now, um, as I was showing you, anyway, you can see the running config by doing a show run uh, from the enable uh, prompt. You do show run. Um, however, let's say you want to see the running config is just what is running currently on the router. Let's say you want to see, and the, that would not include changes that you've made since you started up. So if you want to see what the startup config is, you do show start. Now, we don't have a startup config because this is the first time we've booted the router. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we're going to do is a nice little command called either write mem, which will take the um, startup config and run it to, or the running config and write it to the startup config. Um, the other command that we can use to accomplish the same thing is uh, copy space copy, run, start. And that would do the exact same thing. It's basically saying copy, running config, to startup config. 
Now, um, anything for configuring is usually done at the configuration prompt, which is configure terminal and then or comp t and essentially um, like uh, where it says left branch that's uh, was done from this you just do host name left branch and that would change the host name of that um, you notice we saw in the startup or running config that uh, uh, the fast ethernet inter interfaces were not uh, up and running so we can interface those from here you do interface and then you can pass Zero slash zero, and that'll bring up the config interface. Um, you can also use that do that by doing int fa zero slash zero a lot quicker, a lot easier. Um, now you're saying, well, how do we know what's connected to what if we're in JNS three? Well, essentially you can just hover over, and it'll say at the bottom fa zero zero is connected to router two. So fa zero zero router two. So let's say we wanted to make that uh, 192.168.0.0 slash 24, just to make it easy. Yeah, that should be fine. And um, so we would say name this uh, .1, and this one would be .2. Zoom in a little so you can see that. That's essentially just using the little um, add a note, and you can add a note for that. So that just helps us know what's going on. A lot of times, what you'll do is um, a slash 30 for something like this, um, which would make it a lot easier because uh, you'd only have the two to assign. But uh, if you're doing a slash 24, a lot of times I would do the first, first IP, available IP, last available IP. Um, just makes it a lot easier. All right, so uh, as I was saying, slash thirty. Um, we'll, we'll do a slash twenty-four and just do dot one dot two. So we'll go back to router three, R three, and uh, I'll need a little check here. FA zero zero is router two. So we're gonna do zero dot one for this. So to give that an IP address, we do IP add one on two oh well the that's the short way IP ADD RESS IP address one on two dot one six eight uh, zero dot one and then right after that do a space and then do the subnet mask which is two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero because this is slash twenty four and should take that right there but you're not quite done yet you have to do a no shutdown or a no shut um, and that will put it up and running and um, for that what we can do is, to check it is do a show run again and wait for it to build the configuration and it should uh, show that that interface FA00 is up and running and use enter to go down one line spacebar to go down a lot of lines and there we go And we had a log dump a bunch of crap in the right in the middle of it, but uh, interface FA00, IP address 120.1, 205, Tufax Auto. It's there, it's just overwritten by the stupid log. Give me a second. Let's do that one more time. Wait for it to build the configuration. And there we go. Interface FA00, IP address 121.0.1, mm -hmm. slash 24, and the shutdown there is not there, so. Alright, now, that's just how you assign an IP address for that. Now let's say, 